hi everyone i hope you're doing great happy fourth of july i'm actually at my mom's house for the fourth of july and today i made this lemon raspberry sour cream pound cake at her house it really went over well everyone loved it so it was a huge hit so of course i recorded it as i made it at her house so that was a bunch of fun and so i want to share the recipe with you now so let's jump right in for this recipe you're going to need all-purpose flour you're also going to need eggs along with softened butter and you're also going to need vanilla extract along with salt, lemon extract, baking powder, baking soda, the zest from a lemon, sugar, baking spray, sour cream, and raspberries. You're going to Preheat your oven to 325 degrees. I'll list this recipe in the description box below. You're going to take your pan and you're going to spray it and make sure that it's just coated very well around the sides and all around the pan. You're then going to add in your softened butter into a bowl and I fell in love with this bowl that was my mom so I kept it. And you're going to put in your vanilla and your lemon extract along with your sugar and then you want to start to cream it. And so once you have it nice and creamed and mixed together, from that point, you're good to go to move into your next steps with the recipe. And I had a little help here from my sweet niece, Savannah. And so you're going to add in your eggs, but you're going to add the eggs in one at a time. So you add an egg in, and then you're going to blend it in, add another, blend it in. And so you complete that process until you have all four of the eggs blended. And again, the recipe will be in the description box below. So once you have that well bent, blended, you'll see that your batter's starting to come together. You want to clean gently and dry off gently your raspberries and have those nice and prepared, ready to go into your dish. And so once you finish doing that, what you're going to do is you're going to take the raspberries, you're going to put them into a bowl, and once you have them in a bowl, you're going to add those two tablespoons of flour and you're going to toss it around and then you'll sit your raspberries to the side and they'll come down the road later to use those. Then from that point, in your sifter, you want to put your flour. Along with your flour, you're going to put into your salt and your baking powder and your baking soda. Then from that point, you're going to sift this into the bowl, but you only sift a little bit in. And then from that point, you're going to put a little bit dab of the sour cream and you're going to then blend that. And then once that's mixed in, you put a little more of your sifted in there, you add more sour cream and you blend. And you complete this process till you've added all of the sour cream that's required along with all of the sifted ingredients that's required. And your batter will be beautiful as you can see it comes together. You then want to zest that lemon in there and gently fold that into your batter. And then once you have all of the lemon, lemon zest folded into the batter, then you're going to take your raspberries and place them into the mixture and do the same thing. You want to do this gently, not to break up. They're going to break up a little bit, but you don't want to break it up a lot. But it's going to start looking delicious from that point. You then want to pour your batter into your baking pan and it's just going to look so yummy and it's not even cooked yet and it looks delicious. You're then going to bake it for an hour and 20 minutes and you're going to do it on that 325 and you have a absolutely delicious, beautiful, beautiful cake. And it went over so well for the 4th with my family. I hope you all enjoyed. Again, the recipe's in the description box below. I hope you all had a wonderful 4th of July and this is Nikki saying goodbye.